Welcome back to Idaho Today, and we're taking a look at our community corner. You know, local child, Sierra, she has a dream to go to Hawaii, but her diagnosis of cystic fibrosis has kept her grounded here on mainland. But that's where Make-A-Wish comes in. They are known for granting the wishes of critically ill children, and that's exactly what they did for Sierra. So we're going to learn more about her magical experience in today's Community Corner. So joining us right now is Sierra and her father, Cole. So great to see both of you. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. All right, so Sierra and Cole, to help us understand uh, the, the story of cystic fibrosis in your family, how, how has this impacted your daily lives? Mm, well, when I was younger, um, it really affected me because it wasn't just like, um, it was a disease, so it was always with me, you know, I was always getting sicker and sicker, but basically, it affects my entire body and it just produces a lot of mucus. And so my lungs are very sensitive because they're just very mucusy and bacteria can thrive in there. And so if I get any type of bacteria in there, which is easy, I just get extremely sick and I'm hospitalized about once a year mm. just to like have to make sure that I'm staying healthy. And then um, my enzymes from my pancreas don't like, okay. they don't produce and so, I have to take meds when I eat, and if I miss those, it ends up pretty bad stomach-wise. And then, um, yeah, just a lot of health lung problems. Mm -hmm. And I'm not really able to gain weight, but in about eighth grade, I got on this medication called Trikafta, and it basically um, like changed how I lived because before my cystic fibrosis was kind of like just my whole personality. That's really all people knew about me really is because I was just so skinny and I was always hospitalized. Now it literally changed my life. I am not going to the hospital yearly. I do have to take meds still, but my lungs are a lot more healthy and it's amazing, honestly. But there are some negative side effects to this medication, which is what I'm dealing with now. Mm -hmm. And that's just some pretty bad anxiety because this is a completely new medication. It came out in the past like five years or something. And so CFers are like the new people to try it on. And you know, there's always gonna be some things that we don't know about. Yeah. And so that's what we're having to deal with right now. And for me, it's mainly just nausea every morning. And mm. yeah, it's not as bad as my middle school years with cystic fibrosis, but it's definitely still lingering. So. Yeah, and, and, and this, this is something that clearly has impacted you, like you mentioned, your entire life, impacted the family. Um, you know, as a parent, I could only imagine, Cole, what that's like watching your child constantly be ill and feel that way. Uh, but, um, but now, though, there's this great opportunity to go and set aside some of those challenges for just a brief moment, right? And just mm -hmm. live life and be happy and have fun. Uh, you've had a wish to go to Hawaii, which I can imagine why that would be a challenge to get there, right? Especially dealing with this illness for so long. But that's where Make-A-Wish comes in. So tell us about Make-A-Wish. How did you find Make-A-Wish? How did you get involved? And tell us about your wish to go to Hawaii. I'll start that. Sure. So, you know, when we first got them diagnosed, Sierra was three years old and we actually diagnosed her little sister at 18 months old. Um, they just had a lot of failure to thrive issues. Um, figured out, you know, it took us a, quite a while to kind of diagnose them, but once we figured it out, um, you know, I got the train rolling to kind of get all the care and the doctors involved that they needed. Um, and for a long time, we didn't we didn't even think of anything like make a wish. We didn't even know if they really qualified. Um, but kind of when they were kind of in middle school, we had somebody approach us and ask us and say, hey, have you guys ever thought about make a wish? You know, that's just something that we've never really thought about. Nothing that, you know, we. We're kind of we try to kind of be humble and not ask for anything free things and things like that but um you know we had our doctors that really told us that this is a great opportunity and that's uh, this is a you know sierra really fits that bill um and it's something that you know me and my wife we just don't have the financial gains to like to do these kind of things just because of the financial burden from all the insurances and all the medications and I all the i can only hospitals. imagine yeah but, yeah i mean um, all that adds up but but now you guys signed up for make a wish and with the support of lee reed you are going to hawaii so really quick sierra tell us about what you look forward to about hawaii what's on your bucket list so much so um <laughs> 
One of the most exciting things is just the beach because I've never been to the ocean yet. And honestly, that is what I'm looking forward to. And just the pretty scenery. But I'm also looking forward to the stuff that I picked out to do there, which some of those things were um, like a horseback ride on a scenic view. Oh, wonderful. Which that I'm excited for. Um, we're going snorkeling at two different beaches, and then we're going on a sea turtle tour to swim with sea turtles. <gasps> like, crazy. And then um, we might go on a submarine and go like actually underwater and all of that. Which would that be? That would be really cool. And then surfing lessons and a lot more. And then what I'm personally most excited for is the seafood because I love seafood and Hawaii is just like fresh caught and yes. amazing. Delicious. So yeah. I yeah. think your dad's excited too about the seafood. Yeah, <laughs> I saw yeah, kind of light up there too. Yes. Well, you Absolutely. guys, congratulations. I think thank you to Make a Wish and to Lee Reed Jewelers as well for making this happen uh, for mm -hmm. you guys. Yeah. And I certainly hope that you find that that positive moment that you all need and just that ch that chance to really kind of heal from the inside out right yeah absolutely wonderful okay you guys thank you so much for taking the time to join us today